let me introduce you to my um, my lizard folk city. So we're uh, we're there's 253 lizards. Well, 222 lizards that live in this town. Lizards like like the the uh, like the water. They like fishing. That's kind of their thing. And so we've built our our city sort of around that. And we have a couple pastures. We got a a, a lizard pasture over here. We we eat lizards also, uh, and their eggs. Uh, we've got a cow pasture over this way as well. And we have a pretty stable beginnings of a city. Uh, I should begin, if you're not familiar with Songs of Six, it has been a while since I played. Um, take it like a like a room world or a fortress and just crank it up ten notches. Instead of having twenty people in our town, we're gonna have two thousand. I've seen things online with like 20,000. <clears> um, it's crazy. But each of these are, are like house, housing blocks over here. We'll get a little tour of the town here. We've got our throne room, which is where the, the king hangs out. We've got a well for cleaning up stuff. Hey, Skull, how's it going? Uh, we've got a speaker here shouting at people, telling them to make, make sure they're happy. There's a hearth keeping people warm. Over this way, we've got a warehouse, which is where we keep all of our goods uh, in here. Well, our food is, I guess, this is mostly a granary over here. Um, oops. This is where the way we would should come in and name things. Got to remember these things when I come back to them. Uh, we've got a uh, an embassy here because with our most recent update, with the most recent update, um, we can go to the world. We could always go to the world, but we can like make trade agreements with folks. And I think I got. I don't remember who my trade agreement is with. It must be with Kuhn. I think it's with Kuhn. They like me. So I think we have an agreement with these guys, and we got trade going back and forth with these folks, and uh, it's good guys. This is a small world. Oh, we're in we're in um, strange Europe at the moment, um, but yeah, there's there's me right there on the river here, which you can see. Um, I thought what we'd do today, after we do our little tour here of the place, I thought we'd go through and do some expanding. Right, there's 253 of us, and why not more? And so we've got a nice foundation here of our town. We've got the most of the housing blocks here. I built this kind of in like a, um, kind of a, uh, I don't know, a square system or whatever. We got a bunch of apartments here. All the lizards live in. And then in the middle, we got like a, uh, a speaker. We've got a hearth. We got a well. There's an eatery and a, a bathroom here in this block here. And so everyone can kind of have a, um, uh, um, a, a, uh, a housing block. And so with this game, we can copy and paste things make things a little easier on us. Most of the food is coming from down here where all the fishing is happening. There's a bunch of fish right there. We've got a bunch of farms, vegetable farms along the edge here. Uh, lots of fishing in this island on this way. We love fish. We're, liz we're lizard people. We love fish. Uh, there's a big fruit farm here we, we just put in, I think. Uh, you guys are making... You guys are weaving and tailoring. And we just began making some soldiers in case we get attacked. And then we have a woodcutter down this way. Yeah, mirror Europe. But not really mirror, just funny Europe. Just funny Europe. Uh, we have a trade depot going here. What do we... Let's see what we're taking... See what we're doing here. So we are exporting wood. I think I remember that because we have lots of wood hanging around. And we can always get... We can always chop trees, you know. Um, and we are importing... Uh, looks like livestock. Because we were doing that so that we could fill our pins with, uh, with animals. And try to get some food. Get a nice stable food supply. There's the scaffolds. In case you get, uh, you know, in case you need your head chopped off. We got that. We got a place for that here. Um, also, I should say, if, uh, if filming pops in here and you're, and you're not familiar with Stones of Six, it's real weird looking at first. Um, but as you play the game, it starts to everything starts to kind of click. And everything starts to make sense uh, as you as you play the game. But yeah, at first it's really weird looking at it. Trying to figure out what everything is. Because it's kind of a, it's like a detailed pixel art, but it's... But it's far away, so it's kind of hard to tell. But you can see the lizard folks walking over here. There goes Vizara, dark water. And there goes Raj, the fisherman. And there goes Volsrak, back to bed. And there's his, there's his bed over there. And uh, uh, they seem to be trending, uh, trending happy, I suppose. Um, loyalty is great with the lizards. They are quite happy. Population, yeah, yeah, lots of population. Um, they have access to... They like fruit, fish... And eggs. And that's what we're trying to provide them with the lizard farms, the fisheries, and the fruit farms we made. Um, we don't have a lot of clothing, which we got down to the south, so we got a tailor working on that. Um, we are allowing them to have stone and, and furniture and all that stuff in their houses. And so their houses are a little bit fancier. You can see some of them that don't have that, like this guy here. His, you know, it's just 
It's, that's actually a human. Um, I don't think we've actually provided anything for there. Our four humans we have in this, or nine humans we have. Are those humans? Yeah, in this town. They don't, we don't give them anything. Um, this is a lizard town, but there's a few other folks that live here. Uh, um, and they've just got dirt and straw beds. We, we Maybe one day we'll give them stuff. But for now, it's a lizard town, and we'll try to expand that. <clears throat> Your fish finally got done, and that one farm is finally running. Yeah, so I think what I did last time when I built this place up is we kind of got the foundations down. And so we've got a lot of, like, the basic stuff down. And the way this game sort of works is, like, it takes a little bit to get that foundation started, you know, and get the and get the, the housing and the eating and the farms and all that stuff set up and established. Once it gets established, though, then you can expand pretty big. And so I think we might be able to do that today. And I think what we might do is 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 work on this river. Maybe we can like expand this river up, create some more fertile soil, and do a bit more farming and fishing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe even build a second town somewhere. Um, so we have a bunch of fishing and farming, another uh, another town down this way to expand everything. Build another janitor somewhere northeast of your big housing complex. Janitors have a seventy-five square range. Okay. So we've got a janitor. I think that's, that's a janitor there. Is that right? Oh, that's a rest home for old folks. Um, where are my janitors at? So i got a janitor there and down there. So I need one, you think, up this way. Um, I would I would build, like, further up this way, but my people like to be near the river. They just want to be near it. So I think we might just build over. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe get some water kind of streaming through here. Just make them... A little bit happier. We could do a... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to go over here and just copy this janitor. This uh, strange-looking janitor over here. Um, uh, what's my copy? Um, come in here and... Remember some of my buttons. Copy... Room copier. That one. Okay. And let's go pop it over here. A little bit crooked. Um, rotate it. There's my doors right there. Let's put it like um, like that. Let me back a little bit. Like that. So we'll have a we'll get a um, a janitor over here. We'll get some roads put in. I remember my, where all my stuff is. Something like down here. I have three wide roads. Yeah, big roads. Like that. And we may do a couple other things over on this side. Like we've got like, you know, they got the basic stuff taken care of with the, the well and the, and the hearth and the, the speaker. But, um, maybe, I'm trying to think what else we put over there. Actually, uh, the carpenters are over that way. We've got our embassy. We don't need to put that over there. Um, we could maybe do, like, a warehouse over that way. Oh, yeah. Oh, three whites. We put water in the center. Kind of like what we did here. Yeah. What I did here. Um, I did a little bit of that here, too. Because they like being near the water. And that, that, that would work. It's just very time-consuming. Real fiddly, you know? I think I had this set up so we are always allowing lizards to come in. Oh, we're allowing up to 250. Um... No, you know what? Yeah. If if you want to come in, you, if you are a lizard, you're allowed to come in and move, and move in here. Everyone else we're going to keep an eye on, but lizards will allow them to come in, and we'll start cranking up the, the um, immigration a bit. Because I think loyalty's good. Um, houses are, are good. We have no homeless. Here's our science. We can work on getting something here shortly once we get some science brought in. Our army, we got 59 soldiers now. So if we get attacked, we can defend ourselves. I don't think we're at war with anyone, though. But there might be some bandits out there, though. Looks like my my clay stores are full. Um, there's Clay Man there. And so if you're going to dump your... Where do you put your clay stuff at? Do you hold clay? You you don't. You do. I've got, I've got a bunch of crates left over here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bump up the clay over here. So they can haul that in there and make sure we keep some clay moving, moving in. 
Yeah, I got your comment, Tarok, about how you, I tore up my green space here when I put it, when I put some roads down here. Which you might be right. Maybe you're right. I do have space in each of these. I've got a spot here where I can put something else if I figured out something else I want to put in there. But I'm not entirely sure what I want to put in there. Um, we don't need dungeons in there, you know. Um, what's a barber do for us? High-end service for your subjects where they can be groomed and turned almost as pretty as your grace. Mm -hmm. um, everyone likes that, including my lizards. Do we want like a small one of those? Is that a, is that a thing we want to have a small one? And each should each of these spots have a barber, or should we just have a barber like a big one? You know, yeah, friendly family friendly dungeon. That's that's something we can throw in there. Definitely. Um, I don't have any religion stuff yet. I want to get some of that, so that'll be something else to put around. I don't know. The, do we have a bakery? I don't think we do because we don't. Yeah, we don't. We don't really like bread. So I'm not gonna worry about that with with the um, with with the lizards. Like if we went on to something else, like we with more than just lizards, maybe. But right now, <sighs> yeah. Um, Where is the, the decorations? Flower bed. What's a humidifier? Humidifier is, is a disgusting thing to most races of six. It's a form of mix between an animal and a mushroom. Releases a moist stench in its surroundings. We don't like that. There's flowers. There's a bench. There's a torch we could put in. Uh, it takes... It takes bars. Metal. We don't have any of that, and we're not actually getting any of that. Um, that's what we should be looking at, is going and getting some a dig going on here. Looks like we got a little bit over over this way. A bunch of ore right over there. So we could look at that, that being our first expansion. Um, I'm not, so we don't like digging things out, so we could bring in a race, like the, the dwarvy kind of folks that can come do that. I mean, a big barber. we we'll probably squeeze one in right here. Actually, and that would probably serve everything. Let's go ahead and put one of those in, just so we can, we can get it made. And then we'll go worry about getting our minds done. Just trying to get re reacquainted with everything that I've got here. It's been a while. So we want, it's another what, health? Barber. Oh, you know what, a, um... A small bathhouse would be perfect in that little spot there. I think that'd be perfect. Let's get a barber. And let's go something. Let's just do something like there. If we need to, we can put another barber in, but this will we'll put something like that. I think. Get a little bit of a notch, so it's not so square. <clears throat> Put some booths in. Booths. And, uh, I, I heard Wilhelm. Look at that, it's perfect. Almost like I knew what I was doing. Almost like I knew what I was doing. Takes a bunch of stone. Smooth stone, so we'll have to get that taken care of. Cut stone, that's the word. And some carpets, which I think we got a little bit of fabrics for this. Right there. Raise that quality. There we go. That's quality. Okay, and we want a door, and we're gonna put it right here in the front. Okay. Build. <clears throat> so, uh, you go to this, um, Let's say you go to a taekwondo, taekwondo gym. What do you get if you walk into this taekwondo gym? Dojo, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the words. Uh, and you crank up the heat. What do you get? You get taekwondo bread. Rather proud of that one. That was a good one. <clears throat> this game is my favorite Dwarf Fortress like by far. Yeah, I agree. Agree with you completely. Um, I think... I'm going on a little ledge here and say that if this one 
had as much as would have as much time uh, developing as Dwarf Fortress. I think it could be maybe even better. But it hasn't. It hasn't had that kind of time. But but if if he continues at the like the rate, this is one person making this game. If he continues at the rate that he's been going, uh, um, with this for another ten years, who knows? It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> hey Wally, how's it going? How you been? I'm sorry you had to be here for that dad joke. I want to get a mason. There we go. We gotta get a mason to get those to get those smooth stones. So let me look at my tech and see what we need for it. Um, I gotta find it first off. I'm assuming it's gonna look like a it's gonna look like a like a stone. Um, I don't know. Is there a search? Well, I want to get a mason, but I don't know how to find him. Um, we'll find him eventually. I don't have the tech for it anyway, so it's not too big a deal. Civic. It's not in civic. It's going to be... It's going to be down here in crafting. Masonry. There it is. 250 is what we need for this. Okay. We, we've got a science... Where's our, where's our research place? Laboratory. There it is. I don't think I've built this too long ago. I built it kind of weird. I could I could remove these things. I guess I was getting crafty or something. I could remove these things and we can throw in uh, some more of this to get more research coming in. Because it's not really getting anywhere. And is it getting stored over here? We need um we need paper in here, correct? That'll help store it better. Oh, these, these, uh, these things. Paper, yeah. Yeah, uh, we play D&D &D on, um, Thursday nights with Francisco. Yep. He's the only one I s still see from there. Alright. Pick up the pace a little bit while we build that thing. And I suppose, I, I want to get this, does this need, it needs 24 of those. We could just trade for them for right now. Let's just import some of these things. And that'll help fill that up. Yeah, we stream it. Papers for the admin stuff, overworld stuff, okay. We're thinking of a different game. I must be, or the, the research, it degrades though, right? I forget how research works. I, th I think it degrades over time. I might be thinking of a different game, though. Spoilers. There it is. Right? The 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 tech spoils. Ugh. There it is. Knowledge. Should probably look at this. Lab upgrade. Uh, there's schooling. University. Learn better methods of pulping it. Yeah, going medieval, they degrade. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking. I have a good one, Wally. Okay, there's our janitor getting done. Okay, um... Let's worry about... I'm a little worried about the vegetables, because we got a couple vegetable farms here, but nothing, nothing's happening. So let's get some vegetable farms planted. And I think I'm just going to throw them in, like, along this edge here. Seems like a good place for a vegetable farm. Nice and fertile. I need a, um, there may be, there may be, there is a button. I need something that will allow me to, to make this, but not remove the coastline. Like I wanted to go, I wanted to kind of follow the coast. We can do this, and we can like dredge out the coast or whatever. Which I suppose is fine because it's very fertile stuff. Maybe we should do that actually. 
Mi bu arada olabilir evet. Like that. And get a, uh, a a good old vegetable farm here. Okay, that'll give us fifty. It takes fifty vegetables to plant that thing. We'll get them. Uh, they just take a little bit to get to get in here. There's another vegetable. There's a little one there. And um, we eat. Um, oh, you know what? I remember why I didn't have so many because um, the lizards don't eat vegetables. Everyone else does. The lizards like eggs, fishing, and and uh, fruit, which is why we have a fishery there, fruit orchard on, on these spots, and um, uh, fishing there. So we may do more fishing along the way here as well. Fishing along here also. We do have a thousand fish, so that's probably not much of an issue. Let's crank up the speed. Is that 250? No, oh, 25 times double press for 250x. Such a, um, it's such a, a, a um, it's such an ant farm game, you know? Like, uh, that's the best way of describing this thing. It's all ant farm. <clears throat> okay, well, while we got that, uh, we don't have any homeless home problems. So, we're gonna let, is that done? Oh, it is, okay. Okay. Oops. Good. That'll give us a janitor to help keep things fixed up around here. Um, <clears throat> while that's happening, let's go get some science or some some mining done. We got a little bit of ore down here. We got a little bit of ore up to the north. Let's go. Let's go this way and get this one. Because we got coal there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a road in, and then we'll work our way up there and figure it out when we get there. So let's road out. We'll just row it out this way, and then kind of come up to, where was it, there? And it might not be a bad idea, because I know we don't like the mines as lizards. Lizards don't like the mines. However, I know that other folks do, and so it might be a good idea to, like, get, um... I think it's Dondorians that like it. You like roads. Yeah, you you don't like corpses. The tummy here. They love death and destruction. Dondorians, sturdy and stubborn. Don't care about farming, but excel at mining and enjoy refinement in a sturdy and battle. So what we could do is make like a little a little Dondorian uh, uh, town up here. You know, they're gonna have their own spot. You know, it might not be a bad idea. We can stick it in here, in here. And that way they'll be happy. Um, we'll be happy because we won't be anywhere near them. Somebody got mauled. Uh, um, and they can just sit there and just mine until they uh, can't mine anymore. You went ore mine and we're gonna just go get that. We'll set up uh, some storage here. Like that. A couple auxiliaries, which will help the efficiency. Like that. Yeah, you can even change, you can even stuff like the homes, like, um, so these homes are for the dwarves, and these homes are for the lizard folks, we can do that as well. Um, and yeah, let's do it. Let's make a separate little town up here for the dwarves, and we'll start allowing them in. I don't know if the dwarves, let's see what the dwarves like first, before we get into this. <clears throat> so Dondorian's who we want. Um, lawlessness, heat resistance, lifespan 180. I think I'm mostly concerned about... There's all the stats for all that stuff. Um, how do we know what... If they like, uh, like privacy and things. Environment. So 
some like wood, some like mountain caves. This value registered, so they like. I don't really know. Oh, there we go. They like they like caves. They like living in caves. Sounds perfect. They don't care about this, and its value has no effect on fulfillment. So they don't care about open open space. They don't care about space. So we can pack them in tight if they want. Okay, so let's go and... They want some nice square buildings. Let's give them some houses first. We'll give them, we'll give them long houses because they don't mind getting packed in there. This will hold four residents. This one holds one. And we have the houses here, which holds two. Anything wrong with like using the cave here a little bit? We'll do a couple of them there. Like that. Three of them. That'll give us twelve. Not a not a bunch. Um, if anyone wants to move in, we will authorize the two to come in. Three to come in. And we'll have a place for them. And I can say maybe we can do it afterwards. I can say who it is. <clears throat> and they're gonna want like eateries and all that kind of stuff. So we'll get that we'll get that set up. And we'll make a um an area for them. So let's do a We'll have to give them a well. Give them a well. We'll give them a, um, a furnace. There's the eatery they'll need. They'll need a bathroom. Which we'll just kind of cram over here. Not cram. Cram's the wrong word. Right there. Put a couple of latrines in there. that and some sinks okay shoehorn there you go there you go uh we want to give them a um where's the rest here health health so bathrooms there wells there where's the uh there's the hearth That right there. I got these guys here, these these uh, Baltic crawlers, which just give us meat. I wonder if we should have a hunter in here, and they can just we can eat that and then and then leave it in our eatery here. Like he can hunt, he can just live right here. We don't need a bunch, you know. Guy will stick a utility in there. There we go. It's enough for one hunter. That's plenty. We're not gonna have a big, big pack of these folks. And then we just need a uh, an eatery. Let's see if we can like put it in in this wall here. Eateries for entertainment. I think I can do that just fine, and they'll have a uh, a place for for eating. No matter what game I play, it always ends up with dwarves. Blocks split away through the room. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they want rooms. Doorway. Yeah, I can dig them out. I could also, if I place them down, though, it'll do it automatically for me. And I think I'll do that eventually. We'll have to, we'll have to come over here and, and clear some of this out. But for now, for, for now that'll work. Um, and when we need to get to some coal, we've got that. What was up here? Up there. Oh, no, down, down there, actually. We can just dig through there to get that coal in there. And we'll have a uh, dwarf town. I know. How do I change? Okay, so here we go. So this is 
a sign. Um, this is for Dondorian. How do I say that? Dondorians. Okay. Same for all these. When that one gets done, we'll put that one in there too. Yeah, you can, you can, um, <laughs> I mean, you know, when you, when you go anywhere, there's always drinking fountains next to the bathrooms. So the whelk by the, by the toilets is perfectly fine. Perfectly reasonable. Um, somebody got exposed to temperature rises and drops. Where's my temperature at? It's eight degrees. Uh, hooks are trapped and cut off from the throne. No, they're not. They're fine. They cut off from the throne. Maybe he's just too far away. If we should dig that out a little better. We'll get that, if, they ever, if they ever finish it, we'll get that done. We gotta be almost there. There it is. Okay. Make sure this didn't change anything over here. Um, oh, is that gonna change everything? I don't want everything changed. Um, if I do this, all my humans are gonna be like cast out onto the streets. Guess we can make. Well, there's all, oh, there's all lizards. We got a few spots in here that other folks can live at. And we can stay home for all citizens. That's also fine. There you go. So anyone can live in those spots, but these will be lizard spots. So we got a little bit of a variety there. It's probably best to do that anyway, because people don't like really living next to each other. Some, some folks don't like living next to each other. It, it varies. Um, let me go and dig out. Can we dig out that? It's not our own one. We'll clear that out real quick. Got an opening there. We need some more furniture. Yeah, where, where are my carpenters at? Let's take a look at them. Carpenters are here. Oh, I'm always short on carpenters. No matter what, I'm always short on carpenters. And this game apparently is no different. Um, I'll probably get away with a big carpenter. I got I got that. I just dupe, I just duplicated it there, so I have two of them. Let's just make a big one. Um, I'm selling wood right now. You know, tree man's here. Let's put the carpenter over here next to the tree man, and we'll just do a big guy. Uh, maybe not quite that big, because it's, it's going to be a little bit... Some holes in it, you know. There we go. Okay, so... We'll just get a giant carpenter in here. Like that. Um, oh. Right, work, work, work benches are more important than storage. Work benches there. Maybe there and uh, there, and then we can get a little bit of storage. Auxiliary for efficiency. We gotta get efficiency higher than what it is. Eighty-eight, ninety-four. Uh, oh, here we go. Hundred. 
Okay, and then we'll get a door. We'll put the door in there and there. And then what we'll do, it, oops. What we'll do, we'll build that one. It's gonna take a lot of wood. Yeah, car painter. Uh, and then we'll put a small warehouse here, which is just gonna be like furniture land. Do I have a do I have a small warehouse? I think I've got a smallish warehouse. There's one there. No, they're both the same, aren't they? Let me get let me build another small warehouse. Or a small warehouse. And we'll put that one in that spot there, which will probably hold the clothing and the furniture. It doesn't have to be giant. Just to, just want to try to make sure we keep us up on that, because we're always behind on that. Something like that. Ikea. Been a while since I've been to Ikea. I could use a... I could use a good meatball. Or a cheap hot dog. Okay, so that'll mostly just be furniture land. Uh, we'll go ahead and get some roads in here. People like roads, so we'll make sure we get them brought in. You can see where they're walking here. Obviously for all the building. Maybe a little one-way path there, which may not be the best, but... That. Um, we'll get one there, and we'll get one... We'll just follow this. Around. You know what, we'll do something like that, and we'll have something in the middle here, like a park or something. Susel? Suze? The Suze? I don't know what that is. I think my woodcutting woes are over with since we got this set up here, because we got tons of wood over here with our woodcutter. Oh, sauce. Sauce. Okay, sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, um, yeah, you know, I've, um, I, this is a long time ago. Um, I always get the, uh, the, you know, the cafeteria meatball plate, and, um, which isn't, you know, it's, it's like, I feel like I'm at, a, I'm at a school cafeteria when I eat it, but it's good, and, um, so I got the, I got the meatballs, I bought the frozen ones that you can get in the frozen section or whatever, and, um, I took them home, and I also, I saw while I was there, I, they had the frozen ones, but they also had, like, the, um, the vegan ones, like the no no meat, you know, whatever meatballs. And I thought, you know, I'll try them, see what see what this is, what the hubbub is, is, you know, and how disgusting these are. They were nasty. They were not good, at, <laughs> good at all. Um, the regular ones were okay, but they weren't the same. I think you need that cafeteria setting and the and the um, the tiny cup. We have lots of stores that lure people in with cheap hot dogs too. Like what? I don't know of any store. The only store, um, Sam's and Costco does it. I read a thing a while back. If you go to, uh, Sam's, because it's like $1. fifty for a, um, a hot dog, like a big hot dog, and a, and a drink. And I read a thing somewhere saying that they, they lose money. Like every hot dog you buy from Sam's, they lose money. <clears throat> but, I guess that's sort of, I guess they're, that's a, that's a thing. I'm okay with it. How's it looking up here? I don't have a janitor up here, but I may need one. Um, no one moved in here yet? Four vacancies. They don't want to live here. Probably because this isn't done yet. There's no jobs here yet, so there's not really reason to, to live up here. Except for the, the hunters up here doing his job. Um, and let's get... How's the food looking? Looking okay. Yeah, I guess marketing. People Do people go to Sam's just for the hot dogs? I mean, I guess I have before. <laughs> so, so, I go to Sam's for lunch. I used to do whenever, um, I used to go there. Sam's, if you don't know what Sam's is, Sam's is Costco. Big, big box store bulk thing. And when I was a kid, I used to go with my dad. We would just go there, not to buy anything, just to eat samples. Good times, good times. <clears throat> I 
Uh, yeah, I don't have a warehouse over here. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Um, I need one even smaller than what I've got over there. They should they should automatically move over here on their own. Pretty sure anyway. Wait, I say warehouse. Logistics warehouse. Okay. Uh, we'll throw this guy over here. Oh, you don't want to go on the wall, huh? Well then. I guess we can dig it out first. Dig that out, we'll put a warehouse there. We'll see what happens. If I need to, I can, I'll force him in there, but I, I think it should work. One person is deranged. He needs, an, he needs an asylum. And we have 25 homeless people. They're all non-lizard folk. Um, I may not have enough housing for them, because I did all this, uh, you know, switching around. Let me... Throw another one longhouse in here. not going to quite fit where I want it to. Oh, you know what? Look at that. It fits perfectly. Ish. Should I build it like... Should I build like one here? We can do... Um, houses. They'll fit in there a little easier. I wish I wish I had one more square. I could fit a bunch of stuff in there, but maybe we don't need to cram them so much. Uh, houses hold. Two long houses hold four, and apartments hold one. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to just grab a block here. I had the section here. I kind of like the way that, that these are working out, where they where the whole thing, you know. So we'll just we'll just add on a few of these, um, and we'll, and we'll get we'll get some more people come in in that way. Let's see here, where's my copy tool? Copy. Is this one? No. I can copy the whole area here. Okay. And something like that. I'm over 25 carpenters, and as a result, we now boost performance by 8%. Excellent. Yeah, this is in-game music. In Western Europe, they only don't sell meat hot dogs anymore at Ikea. Only the, ve the vegan ones. Interesting. Are they any good? I haven't had the vegan hot dogs. I've never had a vegan hot dog. I had a turkey hot dog. Does that count? It's not like hot dogs taste like meat anyway. IKEA has meat dogs. I have had a vegan meatball and that was nasty. I've had like um, I went to um, Aldi has um, like well, they used to anyway. They had a bunch of um, uh, um, uh, like like meatless hamburger patties, and I you know I I try it out. 
What, what's the worst that could, ha could happen? Some, sometimes they were good. Sometimes they're good. No, they weren't always good, but sometimes they were all right. So you have to like get that, that this is a, a beef patty idea out of your mind. And then, yeah, it's not so bad. <laughs> we gotta still have 20 homeless people. I think I'm gonna just build up a whole new addition here and just throw it on the side here. And what we can maybe do is, oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's, let's just dig a canal. And we'll put in, because these are going to be fish people, and they really like water. I wasn't going to build up here, but I think this will work just fine. If we just do something like, we could probably just do one long string of water. We'll, d we'll build bridges or whatever over it. Just so my people can have water nearby. And then we'll get that set up. Um, for the fishing, I want to go ahead and add in more fishing spots also. Well, that's all building up over there. Agriculture. Fishery. Had some good vegan meatballs recently. Not sure what that is. Let's go. It's real fishy over here, so let's let's fish over this way. Good fishing, I mean, not fishy. Like that. Maybe we take away a little bit over here and add a little bit over here. Okay, so storage. Um, we'll make a road come down, like over here. And we'll leave here where all the space is. That's where all our furniture's going. When we start the stream out, we start at like 250 people. Let's see if we can get that cranked up by the end here. Okay, so we have a little bit of water there. I think that'll make the, the lizards happy having that there. We can build roads over it so some spots will have, will be patchy. Let's get that dealt with. Um, I needed how much for the tech? I don't know if we should go. Oh, uh, we need we need the. I think the masonry might be a good idea. Smithy can make tools, which we need tools also. I think the mason might be the next one to get. Um, oh, you know what? We got clay. Why don't we do pottery? We can just make we can make pots and sell them. Let's do some pottery. We have clay here. This little clay pit. It's not much of a pit, but it's a small pit. And in that pit, we'll get a... Over here, we'll put a pottery spot. Let's potter. Um, we are okay with pottery, but we're more okay with selling it. And do I want to leave it? Well, if, if, this, if it gets hauled over here... I'm going to where I should put my potter at. Bit of a walk, but I'm going to put him over here. Hey, Fire Squid, how's it going? Yeah, this is quickly becoming one of my favorites. It's come such a long way. And it, even at the beginning, it was, it was good stuff. But it's crazy how far it's come. Um, put the workbenches in here first. It's not going to be a big, big business, you know. So we don't have to go too crazy with this. Do so, like just stick them in the corners here. That's enough for what nine employees. And just a little bit of storage. Maybe it's not that big a deal. There we go. Open the door there. Build. <clears throat> so let's put in a road there. Hey, sagacious food. Thank you very much. Need them tools in here. Did I ever get the stone? 
Is that, is that the one that needed a stone? Oh, I did get the stone. Okay, cool. Um, well then, let's change that over to tools. And we're selling wood at the moment because we have tons of it. But we will eventually start selling something that's going to be more, more profitable. It'd be nice if we could sell furniture because that sells pretty good. Because wood sells for like, you know, coons buying it for five. If we could sell, if we, if we start turning into furniture, we could sell it for 66 to coon. Pottery sells for 28 over there. Not everyone, but them. Versus the clay selling for three. That's a pretty easy uh, money maker. Um, tool self art. Ton why is Coon so expensive? Why are they, why are they paying so much? <clears throat> oh, a few folks that don't have any houses. Uh, is that new one done? Oh, I, I probably need to mark them, don't I? Do I have to say I have to say this individually each time? Is that how that works? I never really fiddled with this. Maybe I should go back to just saying anyone can live anywhere. Oh, here we go. We're working over here now. Cool. Um, can I select who works here? I don't know that I, I'm not going to min max it fiddle with it that much but I don't see any any um, dwarf folk over here apparently they're doing other things let me hire some more bring those two in I was bringing some humans in last time because they could they could manage the fields the humans are good farmers so they, they can manage the veggie farms or whatever um, oh, oh, the dwarves. I do want to give them some things. Um, I got a ton of wood. We can give them wood. And we'll give them some stone. And I'll give them furniture. So I think we have, we have some fabric also, so we'll give them fabric also. And they're getting clothing. And they like bread, fish, and mushrooms. We got fish. There we go. Hey, old Urith. 86-year-old Dondorian citizen proudly serving you as an odd jobber. Walk around all day trying to find something to do, but let's face it, I'm useless. All the real jobs are taken and I have no way of contributing. Forgive me, while the city is divinely built, consider making it a bit more square. Might just be me, but organic shapes look a bit tacky to me. I want better stages and arenas. Uh, yeah, let me give you a stage. I was going to put a stage over here. Oh, I forgot. So I give the stage. That'll make him happy having a stage nearby. Which I think is in the... Oh, I don't know where it is. Is it civics? Yeah. I don't have stage yet, but I have, I have a speaker. Still mining that out. Yeah, I've got it set up. So this is this is set for Dondorians living here. So hopefully it'll it'll even out and they'll they'll start working here. I mean, I only I only have nine of them. Where they all got? Speaking of nine, I had more than that a minute ago. Didn't I? <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I don't know that guy. Oh, is he my? Is he my? He's my crazy guy. Okay, we'll just let him be. No one look at him. Okay, when that's when that's done, then we'll get a uh, a warehouse here, and then ore will co start coming in. We've got um six so far. That's something. We'll let them do all the all the work over here too. All right, so let's get a 
warehouse and it's going to be kind of smashed in here. Is that more of, is that better than doing No, because it's five. That. Okay. And we'll make sure we mark this one <clears throat> to be uh, mostly just ore. Oh, sorry. Our wood, I see where our wood supply is a little low. So let's go chopping. I see mushrooms over there too. We can go chop some mushrooms down. Or whatever. Uh, let's just clear out a bunch of trees. Big tree chop and a big mushroom pick. Are the mushrooms ready to be picked? There we go. They are now. Okay, that's still being done. Uh, due to our internal strife, the realm of Krant Steina has divided. Oh, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm eager to hear, see what's going on here because I haven't messed with this stuff yet. I think this is mostly pretty new. Um, who is that? We don't know. Not the people that are next to me because they're giant. Uh, where do we see our, our, our people? Not that one. Um, no battle. Where do we see the list of, of folks? I'm not sure how to see who is who. I know there's a way of doing it, but I don't remember how to do it. Shows us all the people. But anyway, one of these guys divided. We're not sure who, though. I mean, it may have just been like one of these giant guys and they lost like this little pink thing over here. There's some free lands over this way. There's a little luster, luster fell, luster fall. But our, our, um, our buddies are. Are these guys? We have an envoy there giving us support, so they like us. They like us, and they are uh, quite a bit of nice variety here too. I think there's trade. Lands of Kun. He's got the. He's only got the one region. He's tiny. Um, the other guys are these these giant guys over here. They don't like us so much. Uh, but they are lizards. They got three different armies. We can get some more detail about them. We sent uh, an emissary to to Coon before, so we get all this detail about what they are, what they're buying and selling, and all that kind of stuff. Be yeah, with this little yellow guy here. We can expand. And we can go take take territories. We can raise armies up and go do that. I've done before. It takes a bit. Takes a bit to get there. Done. Now, you're going to hold. You're going to hold. Where's my ore at? You're going to hold ore. You can have. I mean, you got 10 crates. So we'll put in like five crates of ore. And we'll throw in a crate of mushrooms. And they also like meat. So a crate of. Oh, they like fish. A crate of fish could come over here. Anything else they need. I guess we'll give them a crate of wood and some, maybe some stone. I'll probably grab, some, probably grab some stone over here. That's probably it. I don't know what else do we need. Maybe some furniture or something. We'll just do another stone. Because we'll probably do a little cleanup. A little stone picking over here. Because there's a bunch of it. Right there. In fact, let's get some of this rock cleared up. I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna make a big block. We're, let's let's get some expanding going. I'm 
Uh, slavers arrived. No thanks, buddy. Or pal. Uh, let's grab this. Whole spot and copy. I'm going to place it just either side of this on this guy. In fact, I'm going to do... Hmm. If I do something like that. There we go. Three more. Uh, in the middle here, we'll put wells and things. Hey, losers. How's it going? Uh, oh, we do like trees. Okay. We just place like a tree, a couple trees in here. I do kind of want to leave this space open because it's a good spot. We can put something over there. Might make them a little happier. See some trees around. Takes a bit of wood. Hey, Unsung D, how are you? Oh, whoops. Oh, well. Okay, now I'll add some trees for them to look at. <clears throat> Alright, how are we doing over here? Are we getting some, some of this ore brought in? We got 24 now, so we're getting there. This only holds uh, a couple of miners, so it's not a big, big process here. And, oh, there we go. Dwarves have moved in. Okay, perfect. We can open spots for a few more, but dwarves are finally moving into their spot where we want them to be. And I'm going to turn this up to, let's say, you know, I don't mind if we have like 25 of them. So I'll say we can have up to, not not thousands, like, uh, we'll say 50, I guess. We'll say we can have up to 50. We're allowing up, up to 40,000 lizards. Uh, what were the Catronians? What were they all about? They like to farm and thrive. So maybe they might actually be better to grab than the humans. I'm not sure what... what Tonians like and don't like. I like. The, I know the humans better. Uh, there's five more to come in. Yeah, we'll let them in. Let me get some farming done. Um, we've got... Do we want to grab another pasture? Like, we're making all of these eggs. I think I want to do another one of these pastures. Just like the same thing. What is it? Um... Copy that. And just make the same thing. Well, there's a wall there. Two more of these. Let's get some. Let's get some eggs. We like eggs. The the, the lizards like eggs. The dwarves like eggs. Uh, there's a double fence there. road that goes this way. These take a little while to get going because of the, um, we've got to bring in all the, all those animals. Uh, this is more like, it's more like Dwarf Fortress just like cranked up a bunch. My, it, yeah, I saw that. Was it 11th start? I was wondering what it was to start. So yeah, it is shrinking. So that'll hopefully get us some eggs. Let's do another fishing. Is this fishing working? Yeah, he's fishing over there. So let's get let's get a few more fishing spots. I'm just trying to make sure we have jobs for everyone that comes in. And everyone likes fish. Uh, that one's already. Oh, that's not fishing. That's because that that thing there. I wonder if I can. You know what? You know what? Can I modify this just slightly? Without ruining everything? I think I can. I want to chop off this bit and just have that fishing and everything else. Yeah, without a circus. Right, right. All progress will be lost and all... Everyone's going to die. I don't know. 
It'd be nice to have that all fishing there. We'll do that until we need it. Good fishing over here. You asked me about this from Songs of Six. Um, if you remember the older version, like you can, the demo is the last version, so you can just pick it up from Steam that way. I'm thinking the right game, right? There we go. We got two houses that are being filled in now. Thirty-five dwarves have come in. Uh, Wovania has divided. I think I, I think I know where Wovania is. I think I remember seeing Wovania. Anyone see anything different? It's like a game of, of, find the difference. I don't know where it is. Some, somebody has divided. We don't know who. Someone has divided. Oh, there's Wovania right there. You, you were Wovania. I knew I knew that name. So you're in that little spot right there. I don't know who divided from you. Maybe someone just broke off into the Freelands. It must be. Or Ro Ro Rovesti? Was that always just one faction? They look like they want to be conquered. Like if anyone wants to be conquered, it's those guys. Let me, um. Let me remove an envoy. Do I have an envoy? Let me put an envoy over here. Do we have an envoy? Where are my envoys at? No, I just I did Europe. Um, you can pick, so it's like it's like funny Europe, you know. Yeah, they are. I'll take two of them off of there. We'll put one. We'll put one over here, and we'll put one in Kuhn. Keep our support up. Normally, it's randomized. It is randomized. It's just like it's like funny Europe. So it's like took takes Europe as like a, um, I don't know. You know the procedurally generated thing and takes Europe as sort of the base, the foundation, and mixes things up. No, I didn't, I didn't make Europe. No, no. It's an option. <clears throat> oh, do we have pottery coming in? Oh, we do have 132 pots. Okay, that's what we're selling. Where's my exporter? Come over here. No more selling wood. We're selling pots. Uh, there. Okay, and we'll sell all of it. Well, we'll sell, like, most of them. We'll sell 85% of our warehouse full of pots. Because people like pots, so they'll, they'll keep them there. But the rest of those will go out, and we'll just make some money off it. I don't think I have any more... I don't think... That's the only clay spot I've got, so we probably can't go too crazy with that. Yeah, alternative timeline for Europe. There we go. More. This could be a good fishing land over here, also. Or six days of food. We should not run out of food. I don't know if I should have them, if it's okay to have them crossing that road there. Pretty sure they have to connect. I think it'll be okay. Okay. Tiny fishery. Oh no, not so tiny because it goes all the way around here. How many people? How many people work here? Eleven. I'm thinking maybe I might make a big housing spot over here for whenever we grow the next big grow. And what I wanted to try, there's ways of making like proper 
farms, like big farms by fertilizing land. And let's see how, how it goes. Uh, it should be it should be 1080. Is it saying 720? Well, it shouldn't. Twitch thing? Anyone else having troubles with that? Um, anyway, I was thinking of trying to do like a big farm. Problem is, no one really wants, no one wants meat. They want fish. So maybe it wouldn't really be worthwhile. We should just focus everything on, on these guys. Strange. Very strange. Yeah, I just I just lowered it back down, to see if it changes anything. If uh are you getting it at seven twenty also, everyone? Six days of food. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Oh, we have these guys. Do we like eating those? We don't really care about those. We don't like those either. Uh, we're the we're the uh, the blue lizard guys on the right side there. These provide us with meat and cotton. Uh, is that what I have? No, I don't have onks. We should maybe get some. Do I have onks on this map? Yeah, they're right there. Um, yeah, we should do a farm of, of unks. Which, by the way, I think they do, like, fertility, don't they? So, I, I, doesn't that feed into it? Maybe we should put, like, some water along the way here. Just to help fertile it a little more. Strange. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. I, so I, I rose my, I raised, raised my bit rate um, on accident a few days ago, and um, everything seemed to work fine. So maybe, maybe Twitch caught me and they, they fixed the problem. You know, like we'll show you. <clears throat> Everything needs... Oh, we need more... Um, this needs furniture still. Archive streams are still 1080. I don't think we haven't had problems before, though. Like, the last streams weren't... Well, no one said anything, anyway. So, with all this... Uh, where's my fertility? Is it... There's a way of seeing this. Mm. It's in here, isn't it? Fertility. You can see the water. It, I mean, it doesn't do much. Uh, but there's a way of, of building... Like, that's extra fertile. There's a way of putting it in here, of building like kind of like a tic-tac-toe kind of a thing and make a really fertile field. Which I would do, but... Um, I mean, if... if No, no, my people, they don't... My, well, they'll eat meat, but they're not really a fan of it. So I think as long as we keep the eggs rolling in, I think we're fine. Um, which... There's eggs right there, which we don't have any eggs, but hopefully they'll come in there. I think they're eating them immediately. This is holding... This is not holding food. I got a new level. New level bestowed upon me. We're at 350 people. Oh, we really skyrocketed. We're at 100 people more. 
Uh, word spreading, we now have nobility of three. We unlocked, uh, ooh, I have hatcheries now. Hey, hey, that's all right. We can make hatcheries now, perfect. Huzzah is right. Uh, before we go doing that, let's do a onks pasture because that will give me, um, whatever it is, uh, cotton. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. And we're gonna make a, just a big one here. It's just one jumbo one. And put the gate on this side. Now we'll get some some of that stuff coming in. Those guys. <clears throat> we should figure out what to put in this spot here. That might be you know what we know what to put there. We just we just got that question answered. Um, we have procreation. We we're lizard people. So, we ain't putting any, uh, human babies in our town. One giant baby-making place. Cribs. Human. Exactly. Exactly. It's as big as it can go. I guess so. Well, that doesn't line up. It doesn't line up at all. <laughs> I can't make it smaller either. All right, well, um... There we go. Efficiency 23%. Oh, that's garbage. I think a lot of cloth. I have enough. Here, a little bit. Ninety-one. I want this. I want some efficient babies. I know. I know. It's it's the worst, isn't it, Tom? It's not bad though. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. We want that. Uh, do doors are going to be down here. We'll do three doors right there, uh, and we'll stick one there and there. I suppose we can put one on this side as well. Keep our isolation down. Okay. Build. Okay. That should probably... Once those babies start start popping in there, we're going to start getting some population. And we're going to have to figure out how to deal with that. And, oh yeah, these new homes. Oh, they're not, still not done yet. Let them, let them finish up. And there's a lot of trees that need chopping. Let's get some wood brought in here. My wood man is, is, uh, is struggling. Amevians, yeah, Amevians is who we are. We use up all of our furniture, all of our wood. Back up to nine days of food, and it seems it seems like we are we are, are trending in the right direction. Where's my food meter? Um look on you guys. Anything here that you can have now? I got a lot of stone. You can have more stone if you want. Well, not that kind of stone, though. I don't have any jewelry yet. Religion's kind of suffering. We haven't got to the temple stuff yet. Retirement age we can adjust. It's crazy how much stuff is, is in here. And I love it.
78% uh, are lizards in this town. Less than I kind of figured. I guess we got, well, we got 50 Dondorians. We hit that 50 pretty quick. That's faster than I was wanting it to. Hmm. Average active serial killing that are targeting a race. We don't really want that. I'm going to mine out over here. The right button. Like that. And then we'll put another row of houses over here for our, um, for our dwarves. In fact, we'll just copy them. Oh, it won't let me. It'll let me do it once we get this cleared out. Them trees. 376. It's going fast. Nothing else is, is turned on. The sloppies are the um they're the bloodthirsty elves. We don't really there isn't really elves in this, like like normal elves. Because so we have the we have the the Garthini are like the They're not they're sort of like the orc kind of stereotypical orc. They're like breaking things. Um, the Talapi, who would normally look like the elves, but they're like angry elves. Territorial and bloodthirsty. We do have, we have insectoid folks, and we have cantors, which are mythical giants. Which, you know, if any mythical giants want to come join me, you are allowed. Actually, I already have it on there. So if any giants want to come in, please. I'm accepting applications. Um, I will go ahead and set you... As mm, we'll do the bottom ones as lizards because they'll be a little bit closer to the water, and the top ones can be anybody. I'm assuming if it's not marked, it'll just do anything. Our fishermen are reporting big catches today. That's good news. That's good news. Uh, where is the fish granary? Is it this one? Yeah. So we can hold 2,500 fish. We got some extra crates. Let's bump that up a bit. We got yeah, we got that. That'll work. Nothing is anywhere near full. Well, I take, I take that back. Stone is near full. Saul Woodman. <laughs> okay. Uh, this little guy by the fire here. That one? That work? Where do I change their name? Can I do it? Change their names? They're my favorite, but I thought that we could change names. Maybe not. Sorry. No, um... No name in this time. There's Cortok One Eye. There it is. I, I knew, I knew it was in there. Where'd he go? My favorite. We lost him. Where do I find my favorites? favorite button. <laughs> we, we lost him. We lost him. And info. Which one? Info. Let's 
screenshots. Ooh, cinematic mode, look at that. Lost him. Gone forever. Sorry. You don't get that guy anymore. He's a favorite when lost. Um, probably do it here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to find him. There you go. Uh, Anza, you're even better, buddy. There you go. Okay. You're my favorite. Not that I could find you again if I wanted to. He wishes he could retire at an earlier age. Our justice system needs some attention. I have heard many stories about wrongfully convicted fellows. A court should try to every case before judgment is passed. And you want better dishes to be served. You want better food, do you? You got your eggs, which... I don't seem to be getting a lot of eggs coming in. Where's my egg? I mean, they're coming in. They're just not coming in very fast. Maybe once we get the the other one coming, kicking in, maybe we'll get some. The meat has certainly dropped off quite a bit, hasn't it? Since those since those dwarves arrived, probably. The dwarves are eating it all. Fish is on the rise, though, so that's good. Are we selling our pots? We got a ton of tools over here, which I probably should stop buying since we have so many. Um, what do I want to buy instead? What is something that we, we need that we don't have? I guess we could go back to buying some cut stone. For now. How's the baby making going? Almost there. 18 Dondorians without jobs. Okay, how's this looking over here? All right, all right. Me, I'm gonna copy this. And we'll just dig it out first. So that way it'll be a little easier. all that out. We got 50 of them, and then only holds four in each one of these things. Um, when, we, when do we upgrade this? I'm also technology of basements and second floors. I remember a long time ago, I was always having troubles with people getting real cranky. And the thing that saved me was getting, like, stages. Stages was a big deal. There's the asylum. Uh, there's a physician, which might we might need here before too long. Spoilers would be nice to have so we don't lose so much food. Paved roads that would be nice. Nice to have a little more, a little more science too. Where's my workshop at? This one. Could redesign this and make it to where it's a little bit more efficient, rather than being kind of dumb. If I can, here, I'll just do this. I'll just, I'll make another one, and we'll set it up, kind of a long. Well, we got this extra gap here. We'll set it over here. Is that big enough for him? I don't want a temple there. Set some stations in here. 
we'll just have a big research lab. Can I fit two in there? Here we go. Actually, I can probably even fit more. Kind of a monster of a research lab. Oh, oh, I bet I could if I... Mm, I'm fine with that, because that's going to hold 48 workers. 3,000 knowledge. That's that's plenty. Okay. Then, to get over there... I think if I just put a road in, it'll it'll cover it up. Okay, finally get some research in here. In research in here. Now, so Ola Rovetsky, do we know anything about this place? We know a lot about this place now. Yeah, how many people, how many soldiers do they have here? Can we see that? Only 1,300 people live here. Support to 50%, we can reveal that one. And that'll that'll maybe give us, I think that's what gives us the information we want. Yeah. Let's see what's in the garrison with a bit more. Um, I will lower this guy off and put him over here. Maybe we'll go conquer some, some Rovetsky, because, you know. You guys have any um, any allies or anything? They have an army, we don't know what it is. Led by the humble pioneer, Pigman. I think we'll go have a chat with him with our swords before too long. It's a bit of a process. We gotta start, you know, it's it's kinda rough to get an army set up, but we'll we'll worry about that when we get there. Um, we do not use, I always get this confused, we do not use the soldiers. My soldiers. My soldiers are just for just for defending. We go and raise an army in our lands. Because our lands have... Um, well, I think it works that way. <laughs> That's how it used to work. Actually, I don't know now. It used to be you build your town and you have your lands. You recruit from your lands. Um, it may be different now. Very possibly. Okay. Oh, these are all done. Let's make sure we get these finished up. Uh, we'll tell them to be... I'm not going to say anything. The rest... Uh, if Anything, well, you know, I say that. I changed my mind. Lizards on this side. Lizards on the south. Whatever on the north. I'm assuming we're going to have a lot more lizards coming in pretty soon. Especially when these when these babies get, get cooking. And it is done. Uh, oh, they come in. It is a hatchery. They do come out of eggs. We have space for... There's 35 babies in here. How long do they stay in here? It takes fish. There's 11... Nurses or whatever. They're eating fish. In four days, we get another child in there. Hmm, you have to 300 of these guys. Loyalty 97%, happiness 78%. They're quite pleased with being here. Science should be start cruising in here in a minute. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making some more import-export stuff. We've got the pottery we can sell. Uh, Karkin has divided. Okay, That's grain. I don't care about grain, but if, if we've got anything else that we're making a lot of, or we, could, we should start focusing on making something else. Um, we've got the ore coming in. Maybe we can make some tools or something and sell that. We could sell livestock. we got a lot of that. Yeah, the cult of Untinti. No one complains in the cult of Untinti. We don't like it when you call it a cult, but we understand. Chamber is the finest for the finest folk. We don't do that. Three. And 
I need to do one more dig out. Hey, friendly white, how's it going? <sighs> um, so, um, there's a couple guys that, uh, broke into, into this, uh, this kitchen supply store. We're talking about Ikea, you know, earlier. Well, this is one of those big kitchen stores. And, this one guy's kind of clumsy. So, the, the other guy looks over at him and says, hey, be careful. We're taking a really big whisk here. Scraping the bottom of the barrel. I'm sorry. I can only apologize after the after after each dad joke. Big whisk. What do you call a town with a lot of benches? A city. City with an S, by the way. <clears throat> that one any better? Told you, I'm bottom of the barrel. <laughs> then I, yeah, I need to go buy another book. <laughs> That's pretty. This town up a little bit. I would put like lanterns around, but lanterns take take uh, iron, iron bars. Mm, we don't have a lot of that. Braziers, I mean. To, I don't think we'll ever have problems with wood, even though we don't have a very woody map. Um, I mean, it's always tons of trees worth that could be chopped. And I would like Mr. Woodcutter to be a little bit better. How do I get you better? I can, I can, I can expand your territory. I can upgrade you with some steel bars and and machines. Whatever that is, machinery. He doesn't bring in a lot. He's kind of tiny, isn't he? Uh, let's ex if I expand him. Let's expand him. Would you be as as big as you can get? That'll do. Here we go, 100% efficiency. Um, yeah, yeah, big time, big colony builder. City builder, yeah. We just ain't producing much. 45 animals there. How's the egg production going? It's just real slow. Maybe that's what we should trade for. It makes we're back up to 11 days of food, so maybe I shouldn't worry about it. I considered building like a big town, like a separate city, um, full of benches, <laughs> of of something else. Um, I guess we got the dwarves coming in, so we'll, we'll get that done. If they ever get that mined out, and. But I don't know if I want to do that, or if I want to just stick, go all in with the lizards and stick with that. We could do another group of things down here for the lizards. They'd probably be fine. Another big batch of, of these. In fact, we could do a, this whole grouping there and have a nice second spot for them. Because um, everything's in there, like the eatery, bath, all that stuff. Not bath, but the lavatory is all there. Oh, my science is, av is going crazy. Okay, let's get some new things. This is what we'll do. Uh, step number one, let's get... Let's get spoilage, so things don't spoil so much. 
Okay. Um, we've got the ore coming in, so we could get the smithy and start making some metal things. Uh, we could start... We probably should do masonry. That'll give us the... They'll smooth out the stone. That'll be a good job for the dwarves to do. Uh, carpentry basics gives us... People are... are de people are demanding furniture for nearly every project you conceive of. Yeah. It just makes you make more furniture. For a hundred bucks, a hundred tech, I'll do that. There's a lot of crop optimization and things. Um, fish. We got a fishery one a little bit. There's a... Stage. I need to get the stage. We can put those in each of these houses. I mean, not quite that many. Ah, basements. We can do basements. Quickly require... People require denser housing to get to work and service quickly. Dig out basements to increase housing capacity. And then second floors is next. Um... What's it take? Oh, there's a tavern. We get a ration maker, and that'll unlock a tavern. Also, we don't have a graveyard. We we'll probably need one of those pretty soon. Uh, let's get... Let's get rations. That's going to be important. We'll get a graveyard. There's the temples. Okay. This will be our next batch of things to get. Is there one for... Um, yeah. Exotic husbandry. 10% bonus to them. So we'll just do that. Okay, so let's build a uh, let's build a graveyard. There's all my new stuff there. We have the stages. So stages, we can we could put that's what we could put in each of these spots. It's a stage for each one, but I don't think we need them. Like I don't think we need that many of them. They're good to have. But we could, if we could get one like on on within each four, like one stage to kind of cover the four, I think that would be fine. There, and then like... So, those four, those four, those four. Those, whoop. Uh, undo. Uh, un undo. Hang on. Don't build that. Cancel this thing. Okay. I was in here. And then I don't have room. It's going to be a little off. I guess I can go ahead and put one there for under the next houses. Um. These guys can probably use one. We'll stick one. Oh, right here. We'll put it right in the middle. There. Yeah, right there. Put a road to it. Then go in there and look at it. Um. Okay. So there's there's all the stages. We'll get one for this group. So I'm only building booths. Maybe we should do something a little bigger. We'll do the little ones around here, and then we'll, we'll upgrade them. Spots. We'll stick it outside. Then let's get a uh, let's get a big pavilion. Just takes a bunch of smooth stone, huh? right now. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and get a graveyard in. We just have a mass grave right now, and that's probably not the, not the, the best. So we'll throw it in. We could put it in this spot here. Or, I'm thinking maybe we do like a road around here and have a temple this way. So we could do... Let's do this. Graveyard, like, around here. 
Maybe not quite as straight. Like that. Throw in some graves. This is a mighty graveyard. Hopefully we never have to use this graveyard. Okay, and they want trees, which are pretty big. Which increases our respect. Respect is kind of low. Here we go. Uh, need more respect. Okay, and then what's a pathway give me? A little bit of respect. This is a mighty graveyard. Let's hope we never have to use it. All of it, anyway. Okay. The mightiest of graveyards. 93%. That's a lot of respect. Can I put one in? Oh, oh yeah. I could do it right there, couldn't I? Yeah. I mean... People want their stone graveyards. Not a single tree or a leaf in my graveyard. Okay. And then we'll have, so here's what we're gonna do. I have ideas, let's make something fancy. Like we got, a, we're stable, 11 days of food, that seems like some. Um, we're gonna go something like this guy. And this guy. We're going to have it meet up, like, around here somewhere. Which then is going to... We don't have a temple yet, but we're going to. Uh, which is going to meet up here and head towards our temple. Temple will go right there. The mightiest of temples. We can put maybe a few more houses or something over here. Eatery. I don't know. Something nice. Maybe the bandstand can go in there. Uh, I got the crafting so we can get the mason here. And he's going to live up this way because this is where the stone is at. Uh, we'll put him right over here. I don't think they, if, if they get enough isolation that they won't mind this being so close. Dwarves like a square, so. Storage. Oh, it needs all the metal bars. Okay. That's annoying. Uh, we're going to put our way in. It's going to be on this side. Back door there. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I don't have a smithy, so we'll have to... We can buy... Am that a wood? Oh, is that a wood? All the trees go away. That'll give us a bunch of wood. Uh, that'll give us the mason, but we can't make that until we get steel bars. We've got the ore coming in, but I don't have the tech for it, which I guess I could get right now. I'm gonna get the, do we want it, or do I? Raw ore and coal. I think I want the smelter, right? I'm the smelter, not the, this thing makes tools. Yeah, so we want the smelter. We don't have coal either, so I'll have to put a smelter over here also. Yeah, that works. Just takes wood and stone. Doors will go there. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to get some tools real soon. We bought a bunch, but they're real expensive. We're wasting our money with those things. Um, I'm buying the smooth stone right now. But that's about to be fixed, so let's change the stone over to... I should just get those bars in here so I can get it started. They're so expensive. And if we sell those... We're selling the pots. Um, I don't have anything else to sell. I can start selling furniture, I suppose, if we get that going. But we're going to need more, more wood. We don't have a ton of wood here. So we can't go, we can't go too nuts with it. Like we're gonna do right now. They grow back, it's okay. Wonder, you know what? I wonder, let me do an experiment here. Like if I were to say, just put in some canals here. This would become fertile. Just kind of, you know, little patches in here and there. To create a nice fertile spot. Would this promote tree growth? Let's see. We still have 19 homeless Dondurians. Who lives here? Um, anybody. Hold, when did I figure that before? There, is it one per room? I think, yeah, I have houses. So there's six, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's 20, so it holds 22 people. Tree farms are good in the other. Oh, tree farms. Okay.
just like a fruit orchard or is there a, is there a better way of doing it do this ration maker we'll do a little bit we'll have a small one Maybe it's a tech. Uh, I can upgrade one, but I, a, um, where is it here? I forget how to get the, there's the house. I, I can upgrade it, but I don't have basements to the second floors yet, which I can do right now, actually. I can, I can do it now. Um, 500, I was waiting to do, I was, like, I'm, I'm not out of space yet, but that's how we can upgrade them. I think maybe, a, like, a tavern is probably more important first off before we start doing anything else like that. Which we'll probably put in the spot over here, which we can go into now. We got, uh, do we have anything drinking wise? No. Seems like we probably need a brewery for that. There's a bakery. Where's the, the brewery? Might be something we can do already anyway. Oh, prepared meals for a canteen. Yeah, we should do that. That's that's what's going to have to go. There's a little uh, spot right there in each spot. A spot in each spot. You know what I'm trying to say here? It's going to be a canteen. To the right of the bakery. This one? Oh, yeah, there it is. Require coal to operate. Okay. So I was thinking of of like a small one right in here. You think it's gonna be big enough for that? It could only be real tiny. We might need to have it. We might need to have it separately. See how big that needs to be. We'll put we'll just put one in here, and then we'll see what all, what all we can do with it. Mm, it could be pretty small, but not not quite small enough. Metal bars. Always need those metal bars. Oh, I got 32 of them because I'm buying them. Okay. I might have a lack of people just for all the, all the jobs I've got. I always see my job, my job meters. Workforce. There it is. So we need 427. 
And we have 444. So yeah, we don't have much, much space. Yeah, every time, yeah, that's, and, and it's one of those games where every time I come back to it, I have to like kind of relearn it as I play, because I always forget, um, I always forget what I'm doing, because it's so much. Wood is gone again. Was it because we just don't have enough folks working these jobs? Should I bring someone else in? Who do we want to bring in, is the question. Humans aren't too bad. Humans are pretty tolerant. Um, tolerant probably isn't, isn't the right word. Suited to tend to forestry, animal husbandry. Uh, that might not be a bad idea. These guys... Um, okay, yeah, humans can be a constant headache with insanity, criminal behavior, and demands for lavish surroundings. Humans are the most we don't want. Uh, Cretonians like to be near water. Their vegetarians prefer harmony and wooded structures. Oh, you know what? Cretonians, you who are the ones I should be bringing in. How do you feel about us? Six of you want to come in. Tolerant was the wrong word to describe humans. <laughs> we didn't mean that one. Hey, they want pottery. Hey, we got pottery. I don't know if I want to give it to you, though. I might give it to you later. Not right now. Okay, we'll bump that up to 50 so they can start coming in. Uh, we no longer... We do, do no longer employ as many emissaries as are needed. The result is their assignments... Ass, ass, assignations? Okay. Assignations. Whatever that means. So they have a tiny army. 200 folks are guarding this place. So I could easily walk in there. We should talk to him and say, Hey, give me your town. I want... I don't care about your resources. I want your town. How do I get it? I know there's ways of doing it. I want it. Um... Maybe because it's your capital, I can't, can't have it because it's the only thing you got. Yeah. Um, how big of an army could he possibly have? He's got 200 soldiers. I have... Um, I don't know how many soldiers I have. I have 138. Poorly equipped. Let's not go to, go to war with him yet. But we're going to take their stuff. Before long. Uh, I will kick out... I'll keep you in there. And... Actually, no, I don't need you in there. Get you out of there, and I'll take... I'll, I'll take them both out. So, yeah, we should be able to get up there and, and, uh, and get that. Without any troubles. I'm going to go ahead and mark down my... My tavern. There's a lot of things to get done here. We should wait for people to come in or get born, whichever first comes first. We should have a lot of of um Oh, we're after 39 already. 40. Now they don't have places to live. What kind of living do they like? Bad catches today. Oh boy. What do you guys like? What kind of um what kind of living do you like? Like, so you like you like open space. Okay. Look what I might do. I might make a. I got these long houses here. I may make another another block of these things. Or I could just expand this a bit more. We could fit more of these. A couple more of these over here. 
It's just, it's just taking a while to get this stuff made. So there's your incentive. Build your house, you get to live in it. Anything is not claimed how we want it to. That looks good. I think we're all good. Are these not made yet? Yeah. yeah. Just slow going. Well, that's not a problem in this game because we can go... This game does have ludicrous speed. Ludicrous speed! It's crazy. It's really nice. It's real nice to watch, like, let's say you set up, like, harvest some trees. And it's pretty cool to see it. <laughs> see it all just sort of, like, disappear. Alright. Ludicrous speed. There they go. Start chewing away on it. Keeping on my, my food numbers so we don't go too far down. Oh, how is this de desynced? I've been meaning to play it, and I keep... I've had it on my list to play the last few days, and I, I keep uh, not getting to it. Yeah, trees regrow. I chop them down all the time. Yeah, they come back. These are all being chopped down also. I'm just trying to get a stockpile of trees. We're just real low on wood, because all the building we're doing. It's like we're low on clay also. But that's the only clay I've got. doesn't give me much. Okay, there's there's ludicrous speed there. Uh no. Um I don't think they do. I should say that. I don't think there's a limit on on the on these trees. There is obviously, but I don't think anything else is. Uh, oh, you know what I'm thinking? Uh, let's dig. Let's dig a hole here because we need to get we need to get to that coal. I prefer it to be too wide. There we go. Farms have been afflicted by a disease. Ooh, scared. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Thanks for the raid, Jeff. Programming tonight? Copy this guy. He fits in there nicely. Over here doesn't so much. So what we can do is over there, that's where we'll do our longhouse thing.
kind of ugly, isn't it? Doesn't fit with all the nice stuff. What's this? Oh, we got a deranged Cretonium. Kind of seven days of food. Yeah, I've been kind of cranking up the... We're up to 500 people now, and I haven't been really adding any more food in. Um, with tech, we might be able to upgrade that a little bit. Like crop optimization, we're not doing those any. But we're not going to do much of those either. We can make our fish farms a little better. That'd probably be a good idea. Or the uh, the husbandry methods could go up 10%. Let's do that one. We'll do both of them. Tavern needs, needs uh, coal. We'll get there. So we'll put the cat tavern in here, and we'll do kind of like an entryway. The dwarves won't like it being so boxy. But they can get over it. That looks straight. Smaller ones that fit in here. Knickknacks. In the corner. Give us some coziness. Coziness, that's furniture. Because we need we need coal before we can get anything here. We can we we can get coal from, uh, um, from trees, but we don't have a lot of those to, to spare, so we won't do that. But we'll get this dug out and we'll get a coal mine up here. Well, we'll move that we'll move that along a bit. There is a lot of Cretonians that want to live here. We have 18 Cretonians that want to live here. Do we want to let them in? I'm letting them in because they're going to go and do some work. I'll take them in. What's this? We had an injury. Let them in. They'll get some work done. They can get some mining done also. And we'll uh, we'll expand their, their home here. I think we killed all the animals that were over here. Yeah, they're all gone. So this hunter can probably go away and we can turn that into houses. Does he even do anything? Can I move him? Is there like just like a move button? I'll just delete him and I'll rebuild him somewhere else. Okay. Then... Some more of these. <laughs> Just use it. Okay, 
That's our next big project over there. How's our workforce looking now? We have 40 odd jobbers. Still not enough. But I have four before, so it's getting better, I guess. There's more. There's 16 more that want to come in. We'll go up to 100 of them. Rachonians seem to really want to be here. They don't have access. What do they want? They want furniture? Oh, um, yeah. I'll give them some pottery. I'll give them a little more furniture. I'm not getting the food preferences that they want. Yeah, I know. Um, we're going to need some more farms. If we're bringing in that kind of stuff, we're going to need to get, uh, expand some things. Like this guy right here. Let's make a big, big one of these guys. Taking away some tree land here. For our cows. Okay, so those those would be all the, the cows, so that'll give us a lot more meat, because those things are... Um, actually... Oh, look at the difference. So, yeah, so... Oh, no, see, anyway, that, that's an ox one. Actually... No, yeah, these are these are much better. Because these are meat and leather producers. These are meat and wool. And with that size pasture, gives me 3.15, and this little skinny guy here gives me 2.58, so... These don't give me much, very much meat at all, but they give me eggs, which we, like, eat immediately. I can't believe these dwarves want to come in so badly. I guess because we're... I guess we're meeting some needs somewhere. I think the smelter... Oh, the smelter's working, eh? We don't have any coal. No, it's not. Do we have any gems? On this map? I don't see any. Animal, res animal resource sells really well, so those may be a good trickle of trade resource. Hmm. I was thinking about adding in a few more export depots. I was going to leave them here. We'll have like a row of them. We'll put like three, three export, maybe four export, and then we maybe come more. In, uh, we'll do like we'll do two imports for right now. We can export. Um, we got pottery. We can sell uh, the animals. That is a good export idea. Um, I don't really have any extra clothing. I think I think our tailors are kind of maxed out over here. He's kind of tiny. Easily cram another one in right here. I think I should make it. I should just make another one. Just make a big one. Yeah, uh, bad, bad fish. We got all these animals now, we should use them.
We need to find more. Oh, I guess I can do them here. Here we go. some sort of food. Oh, yeah, I can import... Wow, mushrooms are expensive. We just import some... Well, the dwarves, the dwarves won't like that. They like mushrooms. I'll just bring them in meat. We'll try to just use our gold and make some... Bring in some stuff. The dwarves are, are like this this lizard colony just turned into a um a lot of lot of dwarf colony. Which is fine. Do wanna make sure we say who lives here though. These are our uh, dwarf lands. And we'll turn all this into more more houses. Yeah, it's very much, very much ant farm. A lot of these colony builders, you know, will say, ah, it's, it's, it's like an ant farm, like Dwarf Fortress, Rimworld. This one really goes, goes in on the ant farm. Uh, yeah, we gotta make some, we, yeah, we have the same open, we don't have any beer yet. I should probably close this. For right now, we'll open it back up when we get beer going. Kinda silly to have it right now. My weaver's, I think, behind as well. We've got... Uh, well, we don't have any cotton either. Isn't that what... Isn't that what you give me? Not you. You? You. You do, but it's all not here. So we don't really have... Where's leather at? There it is. We do have some hides. Which is what this guy's dealing with. I can change you, can I? Are you the one that I select? Um, maybe not. So Taylor, okay, you're the one I can change recipe. So you're taking taking the leather and making coats out of it, which is fine. That's what we want. You just do it. You just do that. Make those. Make the fabric. I don't have a lot of cotton around. We could probably do for another one of these and, and just stick it beside it. Skull! Thank you for hanging out. Hope you have a good one. It is, man, time flies when I play this game. Also, it could have something to do with me coming in a little late today. Let's at least get our dwarves uh, squared away here <coughs> before I disappear. I like to get coal moving in. Um, we went from, what did we start? We started with 250, 250 mostly lizards. We're up to 536. See, it's gold. We got furniture actually come, starting to come in here. I think I think we're gonna start exporting a little bit of furniture, not a lot, but a little bit. I'm gonna say furniture and don't you know you do like you know like ten percent, fifteen percent. There you go. F sell fifteen percent of my furniture I've got. Um, you are gonna sell. Um, I guess we could sell those rations. Do they sell well? Not really. We're gonna sell those those animals. We'll keep them at kind of a low level. Like forty percent. Kind of trickle those away. Um what else sells well that's easy to get? We do have a lot of stone. We have a ton of stone. We could probably sell that pretty well. I'm gonna hang on to my ore.
wish I could sell my coats, because that's probably sell pretty good. Well, okay, so I have zero stone. I have a lot of stone laying on the ground. I don't have stone, like... I don't have stone in my inventory, but there's stone on the ground. Because we can very easily come in here and do a quick stone pickup. to come through here. I mean the amount of fish we got was 67%. What does that mean? Can't catch all the fish. Yeah. And that, that's kind of what I was planning on originally doing tonight when I first sat down thinking about what I was going to do. I was going to make a big canal for irrigation. The problem is, um, we don't, we as in, we as in the lizards, don't really like, we, we like fish, eggs, and uh, apples, which we could do with some more apple farms. And the dwarves like meat fish, and mushrooms. So there's not really a lot of us that care about farmable things. Except for the, the fruits. Um, I meant this kind of experiment. It did actually work. You can see there's trees coming in here. Um, and you can see it's it's going to be more fertile here. Not the base. Um, there. So you can see we've increased the fertility quite well. Um... We could do... I wonder if we could just fish this. Like, we could just make, like, a, a bunch of X's. I'm going to try it. I'm going to do a farm here, but let's just do this. Let's dig canals. And let's go with... You know, something like that. Some tic-tac-toe kind of stuff. A grid. That's what you call it. They're not going to be straight, because I'm not going to... I'm not going to fiddle with that. We'll just do a whole bunch of fishing here. If we, either fishing or if it doesn't work, we can just do fruits. Okay. Yeah, I chose a good water table spot, for, or a, a watery spot for that reason, because we we were the we're the blizzard people. Something like that. I was watching someone. We'll do some, we'll do this over here. I was watching someone that did. I remember how how he did this. I'm trying to like like tips on um on farms. And so he made a fruit orchard. Or he did, it didn't matter. And he did something like like twelve by twelve. And then removed the 4x4 four four in the middle. And had water all around. So each of these are an orchard. And it'll be somewhat fertile because we'll have the water around it. We'll do 9.
like that. And then... I'll try to put the... Oh, try to put the trees. Not connected. Oh, no. I did that all wrong, didn't I? So it's not going to work fruit fruit orchards. Yeah, it's not going to work. Um, well, bummer. Let me just do this then. It won't be the most fertile orchard. Which I'll try to do um, some rows. Just to help with fertility just a little bit. I don't know if that's centered. It's fine. Um... We'll put water in there. With these, I, have to kind of I guess I could have, could have worked that a little better, but. This is not fertile ground right now. We might be able to get it there. So we'll see. We'll see. This will give us 320. It needs 320 apples to grow it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We probably should some yeah some wheat or something to for for beer. Um, so now we can dig canals in these spots. If I just do this and it'll just fill them all in. Yeah. Just do a nice all, uh, border all around it. And it fill all that in so we'll sort of make it better. Right now the fertility is, is what? We're sitting here at, at, what does it say? I'm not sure what my number was when I looked at it before. But that should make a difference, hopefully. But yeah, we, we probably should do another farm of, um, that's getting all done over there. And this should look a little more fertile. There we go. So that's happening. Uh, and what I, was, what I was thinking is, I think these might need to be connected as well. I might not be able to do it as like I want, but we'll try. And I could I could come in here and I can set up just a bunch of fish, aquaculture, you know. Um, think that'll work. And just do a big grid on all this. I think it was thirty nine percent. Okay. See what happens. Dread. We don't want any of that. There's dread over there. Why? Oh, because the scaffolds. <laughs> Noise, a little bit of noise in the carpenter. Noisy down here. Not, not noisy by the houses, though, so that's good. Fish. Okay. What about awe? Any awe? No, none of that. None of that nonsense. What about workload? Okay. We have 56 homeless people. What do we do about that? Oh, we even have uh, Amoebias, uh, also homeless. Well, let's go do this. Okay. 
Okay, there's another batch for them. Uh, you are going to be these fellas. Sorry to kick you out, but there you go. Okay, what about you? Am I done, not done yet? Okay. Um, let's do... I kind of think this this like patch of four. So let's expand this a bit. We got five days of food. We gotta, we gotta keep an eye on that. Now, do I want to put it here? Probably so, because if we put the the, uh, the temple over there, it'll be all right. I think I'm gonna do another one. So, it's a lot of new houses. Well, that's... It's about 100 per block. And imagine if you had like a... Uh, just imagine a, like a 40,000 or whatever. 10... Just say 40,000. 10,000 size city. I, it's crazy. I don't know how big you can actually end up getting. I know I've seen them up in, up in the tens of thousands. The biggest thing I've ever gotten... I've hit a thousand before. Um, I think it's about as, maybe, well, I say that, it seems like every time I get around, around the 800 or so part, I kind of start to struggle because I, things start kind of falling apart. Um, because I always build, kind of, I always build too quickly, and so I don't, um, scale properly. I was hoping this time, taking this a little bit slower, so then whenever we got to that point, I, I wouldn't, uh, be into trouble. Rocks around here need cleared. Awesome. Each race can authorize forty thousand. I've personally got to eight thousand and couldn't get higher. Oh, hey, look at my graveyard. Cool. Look at that. That's nice looking. This all done yet? New. No. Man, these guys really want to move in. How many of them? There's 21 that want to come in. Nope. You come in whenever I get space for you. Ah, big catches today. Good. We had a couple bad days of fish. That'll help us out quite a bit. I think I gotta do go and make make more more fish farms. Uh, how many? We only have 21 available folks. And we're not getting a lot of these guys coming in. They're, they're, they're happy, they're loyal, but they're just not moving in like... Well, look at these guys. 100% happiness for the dwarves. Or so, the, the, not the dwarves, the Cretonians. You know, Cretonians, fine. Come on in. We need the fishing jobs of the lizards. in here. Are you not connected or cut off? Oh, I see it. I see it. Hey. 
much fish? Let's look at our numbers here. A little bit of a dip, but it's going back up. We had the, the bad days, bad fish days, right? We went, went back down to kind of where we were struggling with there. It's going back up. Um, fruit's not doing anything. Meat is stable. Uh, eggs are just not coming in. Uh, what do you want to sell? I should sell something else. You know what? I could sell furniture. Did I already have one furniture? I did. So I got two furniture ones now. Well, let's raise it up a little bit. Because we have a 600 furniture laying in there. And we'll change you over... Um, so much for that stone selling. Um, where did my stone go? It went somewhere. I don't have anything else to sell. Yeah. Um, you just close down for a bit. For, uh, waiting for more apples. Yeah, that's where my apples are going. Three, I'm going to let a few more in. 26 more in. We'll let a few more, a couple dwarves in. What can I do to, to, I need to attract these guys a little bit more. The lack of food days, huh? I like the fact I like the food preference. Okay. Yeah, you want some drinking service, so we'll get there. Hygiene's good. Uh, we have no health care. We have no arenas also. Um I don't have a tick. Religion would be nice to take yeah, if we can get religion team, that would be good. Oh, we do have graveyards though, so that's helping. Um, if I raise your retirement age up a bit, that'll make you happy. I, need, I think I want more of you. What do they want it to be at? Crime in the city. I'm not sure what to do about that. Nobody's, nobody's in prison. Oh, because I've got the, the stockade stuff. No one's in prison right now, though. Just a little bit. Apparently, we had a we had a disrespect. That's the worst of anything. Hey, we hit 600. Woo. Oh, we made it over here too. Okay. Uh, let's be like like one of the last things we do here. Um, let me get a, a mine. A coal mine. And let's mine. This is a lot of good coal over here, so we're going to go coal this. Is this not? Is it must not be cold? Must be rocks. Okay, so we'll grab all that, um, and over here in this patch here, we'll throw in our storage. Not connected. Uh, 
where did I do it? Where did I, where did I get not connected? You guys should shrink it, shrink it a bit. Okay. It's gonna be four percent. Let's go a little smaller then. Oh no! Undo. No, they're not quite there yet. Yeah, is that those? You think coal in there too? That's rock. We could do a little, a uh, little rock removing also back here. That'll give us some coal. It's a bit of a walk. That's okay. Um, I want you to be set up. I'm forcing the Dondorian. I guess that's okay. We'll leave all the Dondorians back here. That's what the original plan was. They can all live back here. And then uh, the new houses we just built are still getting built. We need some more trees. Those trees are still being chopped. Looks like this is done. So we're going to try this experiment here. Look, it's all nice and green. Uh, so if I were to come in here and I say built. We want fish. We just were to like say fish this place. It's not the most. Well, some of them are though. Can I just do that? Like, a, Can I make a giant fishing spot? Is this going to work? I want a giant fishing spot. Yeah. So much fish. Uh, sure. Oh, no. Okay, what's our, um, 54%, not the best, but it's big. Maybe that's a good thing. What's that on the edge here? giant fish place that will house a whole lot of fish folks. 50% efficiency, not the best. Yeah, we'll just put up a sign. No hostels. Eh, that fixes everything. Ooh, there's our coal mine getting done. Maybe. Do I have a janitor back here? Oh, uh, I know what that is. That's my old house that I that I didn't actually build. Um, let me put a janitor back here. I'll put him in that spot right there. We actually can't get to here. So we'll dig that out and put a uh, a janitor there. I don't remember where he's at. There he is. Doesn't have to be giant. Uh, never mind. I'm kind of surprised I haven't been attacked by anybody yet. Because I know I've been attacked earlier than this in other playthroughs.
But the one thing that they changed, uh, that he changed with this one, a, a big change was the, um, the diplomacy stuff. Give us another farm, another archer to come. There's like a, there's like one cat running around here. Okay, let's look. At this. this is happening. Fertility 43. It's not much better than it was. Um, yeah. Eh, you know. Maybe it'll get better. This is just hauling in the furniture. We actually got our furniture. It's we're out of it now. I need some stone too. Let's do a stone dig. Oh, and these are done. Um, good. I'm gonna make these just anybody. Anybody can live here. Hopefully that solves our homeless problem. One homeless tilapi. Surely that'll fix the homeless problem. Yep, tilapia. They're very tasty. We have four deranged people. Is done? Or not quite. Ninety-seven percent, one hundred percent, done. Forty-three fishermen can work here. We are now at negative eleven. <laughs> thing. We have over a hundred in our fisheries. As a result, we get more fish. Good. We need more fish. Um. We need more people too. I'll bring in. I'll bring in a couple dwarves. And ten more. I'll bring ten more of them in. Hopefully that will... That'll behave. We're at negative 68 technology. We should probably have a... Uh, figure that out. That's a bit of a problem. <laughs> That's right. It's less than a... Four derange is less than, than the bus on a normal day. I suppose one thing we could do, if we want more, more babies, we could make more hatcheries, right? We could just make more, more babies. We want babies. We know how to do it. Make them fresh out of the nursery. We'll double our, our baby production. No. Triple. Six hundred and sixty-six folks in this town. Sorry. 
701. What's the difference? Because these are soldiers. No, what is the difference? Oh, recruits and children. Okay. Eighty homeless. It's growing. Um, I don't think I have what set what you guys can have access to, do I? Well, I guess I do. Okay. Yeah, finish the housing block. Homeless got worse. Yeah. Uh, I need to do just like a big block of it down here. Let's do, let's do this. Everything is really, really ramped up. That's one thing, I, this game, like, you know, um, I think how, how I want to say this. I play a lot of city builders, colony builders, and there's, you know, like, the beginning of the game is great. And then, um, uh, many of them, you kind of hit a point where it's, you know, it's kind of the same game over and over again. Um, this one certainly has, like, it, it scales, you know? And so, like, at the beginning of the game, you're building a tiny little town. Um, but it very quickly turns into much more than that. And now we have, everything has, has ramped up, and it's turned into a different kind of game. It's now it's like this massive macro city builder size thing. I wish I could put it in this way. I could if I only did three, if I did three by threes. Okay, I'm gonna redo. I'm gonna redo that. Undo. No, no, no. Okay, just give me that. I'll do the three by three section here. Yeah, it ramps up real quick. Normally, whenever I play this, I get I get right about to this point, and then I and then I kind of give up. Um, I'll go play something else. I'm gonna try to stick with it though. It may take a while to get to the next part of this, but I'll try to stick with it and see what we can get into. a lot of houses. So I think I did I think I did that wrong. That's okay. I just put that hunter over here I realized and now I've gone and taken his hunting space away. Yeah, I've hit about the um, about eight hundred thousand or so a couple times, and it and it's hard to break that plateau. Everything has scaled up so quickly; it's hard to push past that. I can see that. It's like coal is coming in, which means that this guy can start turning on. Were you? Oh, yeah, I never turned you off. Okay, <laughs> well, okay. Um. We need beer for the tavern, which is tech, but I'm not going to get any tech if we keep on getting behind. I need to build another one of these. We got no people. Let's house, let's house the ones we, we can here with this big block here. Um, and we can get, um, we can get basements. We can go down and up. Basements and second story. It's a very uniform town. I bet there's, um, I bet there's a way I could, I could make this a little bigger, a little better. I got these little housing blocks here, and I could, I could easily, like, double them. I have an outer and an inner. Actually, I could do it right now. Like, if we want houses, I think I built, I think I built with enough space in there. I couldn't do it with a, I could do it with apartments. I think there's a door there, so I could do like... Can I fit more than that in there? Maybe not. Because the doors are on that side. Yeah, I couldn't. Never mind. Never mind. 
But I could I could certainly optimize how I built this. We could even cram in cram's the wrong word. We could even do apartments and longhouses and houses all in one spot. Have the lavatory and the eatery kind of in the middle there and have the courtyard thing and just have some that face in, maybe have a space here so then the eatery and all that stuff fits in the middle and then have a whole other row of stuff on the outside. Just a bigger block of, of housing. Which is what we'll probably need to do. This works out pretty well, I think. Serving needs, everyone seems to be pretty happy. I mean, everyone's very green, so those that live here are happy. 11 days of food again. Things are going up. The fish is happening. How much fish do you bring in uh, um, each time? 117. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, can we see what each one is doing? No, not really. Just the employees. Um, our fish number should be... There it goes. Look at the fish numbers. Excellent. Okay. Well, that's all the fish problem. Now we have a leather problem and a, a wood problem is a, is a real issue. So I might need to set up... I'm going to make a whole wood spot here. In fact, can I just copy this one? I'll do it my own. Okay. Yeah, I have a, I have a very, I have a big laboratory problem. Yeah. Which of these races like, um, science? The gods have forsaken lizard stone and the rains have stopped. If this keeps up, it will devastate our crops. Everyone must now pray. Everyone, get to praying. What are you doing? You should have prayed a long time ago. Labs in there. Is that centered? I think it's humans. Pick them that says they're good at admin and the like. Humans are whiny though. Last creation of the gods excel at intelligent jobs and decent farmers. Constant headache. We'll bring them all in. I think I just double click it, right? Yeah. We'll bring it. We'll bring everyone else in here. Pack a few more in here. What time is it? I need to go to bed. There's so many things I want to do. <laughs> I'll go to bed in a minute. A couple things I want to do. Chop some trees. Step one. Um, mine some stone. That's step two. Step three is going to work on this. Work on one of these houses. I'm going to see if I can figure out a big housing block. Let's fiddle with this and see what what um, what I can get. So I think I'm going to have a big courtyard thing. And I think I want, we'll have the houses be, how do we do this? I was supposed to start with the outside. Should the outside be the houses? So we have a road there. What is that? Something like this. Sit here and then in this corner. Um, and then the inside's going to be all the stuff. So...
two, three, four, five. It's probably. We'll get one more. Six. Is that. That's where we want it. I think that's, I think that's straight. That's six spaces. Two, three, four, five. Six. Mm. Back door to get to the back to the house. Maybe. So they can get to the other stuff. I'm going to put houses on the other side of this also, though. Maybe I'll just do them all houses. Three, four, five. We'll do six. I could do that and have like a like a hallway that kind of goes between there. I did do that wrong. No, no, don't, don't. Hang on. Wish this was more like the other one. Um, uh, smart remove. We'll have houses inside here, and we're gonna have room for the eatery and all that stuff too. I wonder if I would just go a little bit further out. If that's enough. I'm gonna go a little further. I have problems now with this stone coming out. This is going to take an eternity to make. Okay, and then we go six and over here. You know, I suppose I could have, could have built this out of stone. Did you like to change it? We have we have a lot more stone than we do wood. But we'll do a little bit of both. Okay, and we can't get that one there because we had to move that. That's fine. Okay, and then so we got apartments, and then houses are a little bit bigger. We can have like a row of houses like this. Fits perfectly. Then we're gonna row like that. Oh, should we go with some long houses? On this side? Sure. Doesn't fit quite as perfectly. Almost. So then we have room for the eatery and all that stuff just sort of in this central square here. And I can probably get a couple more. There's that. Uh, let's clear out. Oh, let's remove this mountain here. Okay, so now the central things we put, we put in here. We have an eatery. We need to have, of course, a bathroom. So this whole thing is going to be sort of the central area here. Um, let's lay down some roads. And we'll just go through the center here. We can put a road that's going to go kind of... Um, I guess we'll lay it out, then we'll figure out where the roads are going to go. Uh, don't 
do that. Undo. Did I just remove those walls? That's not what I want. I <laughs> got it screwed up again. Uh, I need an undo on this. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Ton of stone. We got a bunch of stones, so it's fine. We'll get basements and all that stuff soon, so that'll be okay. Okay, so there's all the housing. I call that done. Now, let's get a. Um, we'll start with the basics. We'll get uh, an eatery. Anything else in here that we need? It's all good. We just need a. Uh, we'll need a well. I can probably put. We may need a bigger well. We'll do like a like that, and then we'll need a hearth, which doesn't fit because it doesn't line up. Why? 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 So why has it got to be different? <laughs> why can't it be the same as the as the well? 20 spots. That's probably en enough. Do you think we should go a little bigger? I'm going to fit this in here. Um, well, that's annoying. We'll do like um, there. We need a speaker for sure. We can put the well, I guess, in a different spot. Now we'll just, we'll do... We'll do there for the speaker. Hopefully that's enough for there. Now, the uh, the eatery is what we need. Which will fit just right like that. It's kind of a tight fit. I wonder if the eatery should go on the other side. So we have the stage, hearth, well, eatery, lavatory. We could probably do eatery, lavatory on the other side. Bathrooms. On this side. Kind of small, but it's just it's just for this section here, so I think it'll be all right. Okay, and then, and then we got a gap here. What needs to go in that gap? It'd be a good place for uh, well, it'd be a good place for a bathhouse, barber. This is such a, a, a big thing. We'll put in like a small barber also over here. Everyone likes those. 
and we'll get a bathhouse eventually. And then we can beauty it up a little bit with some decorations. We'll throw in some... Um, we'll put some benches in. Benches over there. And uh, we'll have some over here outside the eatery. In the bathrooms. Okay. And then I want, um, I do want a tree. There and there. We got a little bit of a gap here we can put things in too. Which it might not be a bad idea to have a small janitor in here. I'm not sure if that's going to be able to fit anything. That's as small as I can go. It works. Five janitors, apparently. Put something on this side also then since we're doing that. Hmm, what else do we need? I think just maybe never messed with I never built a hauler. Maybe I should do that. Make sure we get things moved around. But I haven't had a problem with things getting moved. It's okay. I'm just, I am a little on cash. I don't know. What do you think? What else needs to go in that spot? Hmm. I'm not sure. When we find a spot, we'll put it there. We'll find something for it. There we go. Um, we'll get the pads. We'll get the pads in a minute. We'll let them build it first. Uh, it's it's very dwarf fortress. Yeah, dwarf fortress is a good example, a good comparison. I think the dev would 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 wholeheartedly agree with you there as well. Okay, so that one block, it's a pretty good sized chunk. It's got all the necessities in the middle there. Uh, well, how many people was that? So it's one for each house, right? So there's six, 12, so we got 24 on the outside. And there's what, seven there? So what'd say 24 plus 14, so we're up to 38. He's holding two each. Um, so there's 48, 58, 60, 62, plus, 62, plus, uh, I'm trying to remember numbers, 62, plus, 4 times 6, plus 24, 62 plus 24, 86, right? 86 in one clump. Oh, plus, oh, I did count that one in there, so we got one more right there. Okay, and all the stone we need for it is right there. There is a ton of stone on this map, so I do not have any fear of running out of stone. 
Um, but we'll get to doing some mining. Make sure we have plenty of stone around here. We're gonna need a lot of uh, a lot of trees too, so we'll get some tree chopping. If you like Dwarf Fortress, I think you will like this game a lot. It is working. Notice how it's bringing all these trees in. Might be a bad idea. What if I just go in and 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 just like start poking water holes all over the map just to help trees come in? Especially in these places that we're going to use as, as tree land. It's already pretty fertile over here. Experiment. More. Not much of experiment because we know what's going to happen. Let's throw some holes over here. To promote some water growing. Some fertility. Water table is really good. Plenty of water. I played the demo. Someone asked the other day about Gord. I played the demo of Gord um, when it, whenever it hits. wasn't that long ago. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably give it a go. Demo is pretty good. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Fertility helps pastures as well. Some wood places, some stone places. <laughs> a little bit of both. We're gonna run out of uh we're not a workforce. It's probably take quite a bit of work workforce just to run this place. Okay, let's uh let's ludicrous speed this so I can go to bed. Crockington, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, it's well past my bedtime, so I'll have to call it a day here. But I want to see this this uh, structure complete. I'll have some time to come in here and mess with the roads and get it a little bit prettier looking. Bad catch. But we're up to 11, 11 of those, and my farms are actually almost full. My warehouses, I mean. We got... Oh, this one's full. Oh, not this. this isn't my food crate. This is this one. Baksu, uh, Buksu has divided. Food source that spoils quickly. You ever get those tech places in? Not yet. Fertilizer. Fertilization helps animal and job density. Okay. Thank you, Harley. Yeah, it's gonna be a little while because we gotta get the, the cloth need in here, needs in here. We gotta get um, furniture made. It's gonna be a, a busy time. Got 200 soldiers. 750 people. As long as I got food, I'll bring a few more folks in. I don't want this to be like a um, big old multiracial place, because then you get other problems. But you know, we'll try. We'll try as long if we can get there and keep everyone happy. Then sure. We'll try to take it slow though. Stick with the um, the lizards and the Cretonians for the most part, and of course the dwarves who live up here. And I get me coal now. We got thirty-three coal. And so we got a bunch of steel coming in, which I don't think I... Am I buying steel still? I am. I got to stop that. So if we're going to import something, what should it be? Maybe just like apples, just so we get something, some apples in here to get... Make sure that our farm is working. Which it is. It's just low fertility. Anything I can do about it to help the fertility after I've done it? I don't think there is. 
I could come in here and poke a few more holes in it to help raise the fertility a bit more. I wonder. If I were to redo this, I have a feeling the fertility is actually better than that. I think it set the fertility when I... Oh, my cows are afflicted with a disease. They killed off 97% of them. Well, that's a lot of cows. Man. I have a feeling that maybe it set that fertility before I added some more water to it. There's a few spots here that could use some more. I wonder if I redid it, if it would be better. Man, my cows. Oh, look, it's almost done already. That's quick. Some fabrics for that. The, uh, the eatery's done. Can hold everything. Shot me over there. Yeah, eatery's working. Uh, the bathrooms are done. The janitor's done. We're still waiting for some cloth for the barber. Trees are getting planted. Um, yeah, the house is done. Okay, these are going to be anything. Okay, that should fix the homeless problem. I haven't gone through here. One last thing. Maybe. Um, I haven't gone through here and set, set the access to everyone. These guys want clay. I don't want to have a lot of clay, but they can have whatever they want. You get some stone. Um, the humans, I have to give them some stuff. The elves, we'll give them a couple things. What do you, oh, they probably, they probably eat the, the cows. We'll give them a notch of everything. We don't know any bug people are, or these guys. Okay, done. Mostly, we gotta clear this out. Oh, is it cleared out? Yeah. And... Is that right that it's off like that? What did I do wrong there? <laughs> That sticks out too. That's just okay. Okay, I because it's because the janitor. Janitor sticks out one. Okay, I, I got it. I got it. Okay, it's my bedtime. I'm tired. Okay, we'll do that. That'll that'll do it. And then everything's done except for the barber, and then we're good. Hooray! So now when we uh, when we expand housing, we can just grab this thing, and that's what I say. Eighty something, uh, eighty something people in this one square. Need solved. A lot of vacancies around here. Yeah. The janitor. You can be uh, a dwarf house because you're in a cave. There you go. Okay. I really need to go to bed. No, I don't want to. I want to, I want to keep playing. I gotta wrap it up. Thank you for hanging out. I should be here tomorrow. And we will play something else. And I'll come back to this at some point and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get past that thousand mark. This is about as high as I've gotten. I, I, last time I got this high, people were getting real cranky and starting, they just weren't getting what they wanted. And it was real hard to keep up with a lot of that stuff. And I think, I think we got like a good like foundation of a, of a town, so... And my science is now through the roof. Well, 
increasing anyway. So that's good stuff. We'll get a we'll get a big big uh, temple here, and keep making babies. And we'll get we'll get some more of this. All right, let's call it a day. Oh yeah, these are still being built. <laughs> I haven't even set these things up. Um, let me mark it down real quick. So when I come back and I'm confused about what I've what I've forgotten, make sure I got myself squared away. Okay. All right, there is some songs of six. Right, liver, li Liverstone, Lizardstone. We gotta start changing the names, I suppose. Lizard Fort is turning into Lizard Dwarf uh, Pigman Fort. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks for hanging out again. I'll see you all here 